Woodworkers who use scroll saws tend to fall into one of two groups. Some use the saw as an ancillary tool for things like cutting dovetails or perhaps trimming a haunched tenon or other tasks demanding fine cutting. Others use it as the primary cutting tool to make decorative art objects like this bowl or this box. Regardless of use, a quality saw needs to make good, precise cuts. And given the short lifespan of scroll saw blades, the blade changing process needs to be convenient. The new Jet 22-inch scroll saw features a toolless system that combines clamping the blade and tensioning it in one step. Let me show you how that works. To clamp and tension the blade, you take the clamp, put it in the built-in wrench, insert the blade with the teeth pointing down just to the end of the clamp, tighten it, bring it over to the holder under the table, snap it in, flip it up, and clamp the lever. And there you have a properly tensioned clamp blade ready for action. While the system works seamlessly most of the time, there are occasions when you may need to tweak it a little bit. And you can add additional tension through the cam lever by giving it a one-turn rotation. Or if you need further tweaking, you can use the knob in the rear, but since that may throw off some other adjustments, that's seldom used unless you really have to. And if the clamp is not holding sufficiently, you can adjust the set screws on either side using a three millimeter hex key. So although you'll seldom need these, it's nice to know that they're there. Once the blade is properly installed, it should cut accurately without bowing or distortion. I gave the jet a pretty rigorous test, seeing how well it cut solid ovals from one and a quarter inch thick maple and oak. This kind of cut is often the first step in making typical scrolled boxes like this. I wanted to see in making this cut whether the centerpiece would slide out freely from the top or the bottom. And when a piece does that, when you can pick it up and it'll just drop right out, or you can push it back and forth, you know you've made a true vertical cut. And although technique has something to do with it, even the best technique won't compensate for a really inferior saw. And I was pleased to find that the jet handled this task, as well as less demanding cutting tasks, easily giving good quality cuts. To make angled cuts on the jet, you tilt the head, not the table. It's generally assumed that this design makes angled cuts easier since you're not fighting against gravity. I've always cut my bowl rings on a saw with a tilted table, so I really wanted to give this a try. I chose a challenging task, cutting a scallop bowl with ring angles varying from 20 degrees to 40 degrees. When all the rings were cut and stacked, here's what they looked like. I was especially impressed with the way the saw handled the smallest ring, cut at a 30 degree angle with some pretty tight curves. And yeah, I could have done it on a saw with a tilting table. I've done that and it works, but I have to say that having this large flat table did make the task a lot easier. Now, no tool is perfect and the new jet saw is no exception. But after spending some time with it, I think that this new mid-priced scroll saw is certainly a tool worth taking seriously. <laughs>